Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Ostriv Alpha 5, and it is year number two. So, in the first year, we managed to get everyone into a home, and we are currently building our granary to store our crops, because our wheat is already ex oh no, sorry, our potatoes are already a quarter expired. We build our town hall to give us more, um give us more options over our settlement and we're going to build the oil workshop because we have a crop of sunflowers going next year when we, oh i should say this year when we get into harvest season now i'm going to run this year in three speed because it just makes the videos slightly shorter and i think slightly more manageable not just for the editing phase but also for those watching as well um, I have moved the No Outsiders challenge into Alpha 5. It doesn't completely work because the um, map was generated in Alpha 4, not Alpha 5. But overall, I think for everything else, it's going to help out the playthrough and the performance and everything a lot. So we have gone ahead and done that, and it is semi-functioning. You just don't have all the... Uh, well, you don't have some of the extra stuff for um the alpha from the alpha 5 update but overall it's doing all right so this year honestly we just have to worry about getting the crucial stuff up and running maybe expanding the village a little bit because unlike the no outsiders help challenge we can actually expand our population and increase the uh, amount of people coming to us through migration now I'm going to go ahead and put laborers on this because I don't want a permanent worker on it. And I'm going to use the good old automatic tool to set up my granary so it can be used for useful things. So that can all sit in there lovely. And we will be making, we'll be selling firewood, buckwheat, potatoes and... We will eventually be selling flour once I get my... Oh, it is built already, isn't it? <laughs> right, how many people do we have free? A couple. Right, you are making that, and so we can... What can I get rid of? Let's get rid of cucumbers. <laughs> and we're going to add in flour. Where are you? You would be there because you're in alphabetical order. Uh, we'll put 2,000 in as well, and then the store can also sell flour flower because we are creating it slowly but surely we are creating it so into february already damn carts are almost worn out we need to build a carpentry where the hell can we put that that might be a slight issue i kind of want to i want to well i can always move them so i guess that's the thing oh where can i put this i don't really want to expand out this way but i suppose we can always demolish things and rebuild them elsewhere so i don't think we can build another house down here can we i think it's too i think the terrain's too uneven no can you come off of that okay so if we oh that's mega close oh no i don't want to do that <laughs> keep on accidentally right clicking right terrain goes there so then we connect that connect that Give you a bit more space out the back and then oh i'm an idiot and i'm not reading the things right oh this is gonna be so difficult to do i don't think we can because of the entr entrance way i think that's what we're struggling with is the entrance way we definitely need to expand i think that's too vertical as well way too vertical <laughs> not even close we put go as far up as we can and then we'll move no god damn it there we go now when that's finished growing we're going to make a pathway down the outside here right carpenter go we don't have any guys looking for jobs god damn it right so the storage is actually do you know what we might as well might as well just empty that out so then we can get rid of it. Hey, there we go. 
and we can get rid of that as well. And now we've got to concentrate on building the houses. Do you want to start with the one on the end because it's easiest to get to? There you go. Do that. Start that way and then it's easiest to get to. <laughs> That's going to be such a horrible place to live. Oh my god. And then we'll have to do, I, I think kind of a... I think if we do it in tiers, round like that, there's some relatively flat ground that we can do tiers on. And I'll just have to do a gap occasionally between the houses to... Uh, so that they can actually, the people don't have to go around the whole thing. Because it's just a waste of time. So, why didn't that rotate? That was meant to rotate onto fallow and onto sunflowers. But it didn't rotate. Why? Why did it not rotate? I am confuzzled. <laughs> I am very, very confuzzled of why it didn't rotate. That is very annoying. Yes, all carts need repair and I also need workers for them, so I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> well, that was an absolutely insane year that I was literally just micromanaging because we were trying to get the houses built while trying to repair our carts, while trying to build more, while trying to keep enough nails and metal parts going to repair the carts and build more, while trying to get enough nails together to build our new constructions and keep everything else going. <laughs> that was an absolute mess. An absolute mess. We've got enough thatch, that's fine. That can be loaded into there when we have a chance to. Oh my god, that was mentally exhausting. <laughs> so we're still we're still struggling because we have no Oh, we have no workers in there. That's why they're not making nails. That would make sense. So yeah, I suspect that <laughs> either this will be a very short episode, or it's gonna be somewhere in the region of like a compilation episode. Because quite frankly, we haven't really actually done much. <laughs> We've been micromanaging this end of town so heavily that it's kind of insane. Right, I want to, in the next two months, I they're going to st still keep building nails and everything like that. Uh, we do need some workers if they're available, but I think they're doing other things. There's one available. I suppose the only really way to get around this would be to build more houses. I guess that's probably the only way really around it, but even for that, we need <laughs> we need charcoal and we need nails. I'm going to build another charcoal pile in here, because I really, really think we need a third one. Right, so they're building nails and metal parts constantly out the bloody wazoo. They are doing the best they can to keep up we have three guys on construction so we are building <sighs> basically just going to take time it is just going to take time i am kind of starting to regret where i planted oh now we can get rid of this field and rebuild it because now people can go up the side of it now we're going to have to do it fallow because we've exhausted all of our fields. So it's going to have to be fallow. But we have, we built another field over the back here which is going to be sunflowers next year. Because we messed it up this year. And we are now into winter. So we can get all of our winter jobs done. What I would like to do this winter is if I can build a few of these houses. Is what I'd really like to do over winter. Because obviously we're away from farming we have none of the other jobs to do that's fine as soon as okay you can't do anything so why don't you go and help on construction because you can't do anything until they have made more metal parts and more nails oh we're yeah we're running out of stuff quickly <laughs> okay so you will need a lot more nails let's build another one. Oh, we have another one going okay it just isn't built yet. Yeah, I'm going to move that to the end because that primary school isn't priority at the moment. We need to get houses built so that we can have more people because we are running out of laborers. 
what else can't we use at the moment that is got people in? I don't think there's anything. I think we're using everything at the moment. That'll be done before the end of the year, and then they can start working on the next one. Come on, you can finish it off. Ayo! We have another house, and that hopefully should take us over 30 people. Fingers crossed, can we get to 30 before the end of the year? Shouldn't take long for the migration to kick in and for people to add in. We were lucky with that one because we got a three person family that moved in. How many are we going to get? Just a couple or a three person family? Oh, 31! We are there! Bingo! Awesome, 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 awesome. Right, we can use him on construction. And she can do something, I don't know. You can very, very easily go on construction, mate. Right, that is January into year number three. Again, I know I didn't do a huge amount this episode. We got so, so bogged down with doing little micromanagey things over here because we had a crash in nail and metal parts production while we were trying to get our cart built back up and repaired but everything now should be back on track for year three so ladies and gents after the editing process of year two i decided that quite honestly it was a bit of a pathetic video and so i thought i'd come back and give you a little bit more and so we're going to do year two and three all in one video for you and then tomorrow you will get the uh what it be year two or no it'll be year three of the no outsiders challenge so we will be fully matched up with both mal for five playthrough and the no outsiders challenge so let's rock and roll with year number th are we on year number three now i, I I've, I've already lost count yes <laughs> let's rock and roll with year number three of our alpha five playthrough so we have uh four more buildings to go up what are you lacking? You are lacking people, basically. You are lacking people. Um, our smithy is trying to make nails and metal parts at the same time. Are we storing nails? We are storing nails. Okay, so let's stop using nails because that has 500. How many do we need for that? Like 150 or like 200 between all of them. So. Focus on entirely making metal parts because we need to make metal parts for our carpenter to make our carts. Now we only have six, yeah we only have six at the moment but we've got more on order and we have our last barn on order as well. I'm not going to bother doing that just yet because we haven't even built the other ones. Once we've built the other ones we can concentrate on that. Let's focus on building these three homes in the first place and then hopefully you will have hopefully you will have made something by the time we've done that now farm wise our soil is exhausted all except for that so they're all on fallow that's fine i'm going to cancel them just to make sure they don't rotate onto something else and then next december before uh, everything goes back to uh being non-frozen and non-snow covered we will sort out our crops now wheat wise we are storing flour somewhere we are storing flour there we have nearly 800 that's fine what's the sale going like um ba -ba 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 -ba. where do we find okay so we've hardly sold any of it but we are selling it so quite frankly i think that's all that matters uh it is oh dear it is perishing which is not a good thing so maybe we don't rapidly make it because it is perishing are they actually are people actually using it yeah but at a tiny rate i mean some people aren't some people don't even have it at all quite a lot of people don't have it at all wow okay so flour is not hugely required hmm okay that's different all resources collected wonderful and you are picking up that and we are now coming out of winter perfect right so you are full you're building stuff right let's get you on 
another worker on that. Because I just need to rapidly make metal parts, and I'm just not at the moment. They were out of water, but they're fine. Were you not just collecting? I don't understand what's going on. That says water's going up, but... <laughs> Are they... Oh, bless them. Yeah. <laughs> he has a friend. Oh, bless him. Right, we were making the school, which I'm going to put in front of that house. That is being built rapidly because basically we have nothing else to do. They can do that. They are... Yeah, they're doing that nicely. Uh, how are we doing on thatch? We're doing massively fine on thatch. So I'm not quite sure what the next progress would be, actually. What are we going to move on to next? So, I've decided that the next port of call is a trading post because we're probably going to start running out of stuff. Although, actually, we can... Maybe we shouldn't build a trading post. Because we can actually get iron deposits now. So we don't need to import iron. No, but we need to import animals. That's why I made a trading post. <laughs> we need to import animals. And... As I said, I think we're going to make kind of rows of houses up here. Try and make this thing look relatively pretty. I am eventually going to move the farm. Not entirely sure. I haven't really planned out where yet. I might move it like round here or something. I'll put two or three farms around here. And so I can build more houses or make this like a, a village square or something haven't quite worked that one out but we'll get there eventually we will get there eventually what we've got to focus on now is just um finishing off the queue of buildings that we currently have you're waiting for metal parts right stop working on there then because they are making metal parts as fast as they can but they can only make it so fast and that is being built because the primary school is nearly been and they all the resources have been collected so that's why they're dumping off resources there that makes sense and hopefully they will start building resources for them as well i think i'm gonna put another water well down here for these people <laughs> i can't I don't, I don't want to put that there let's put it there that makes more sense for that side put one there for that side and then they can have access to that that's fine right need a teacher and we need a female teacher, please, because I, even though we have, yeah, we have a female teacher, good. Even though we have quite a lot of males to, uh, to do work, we don't have enough quite yet to spare. She actually, oh, she's teaching. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't have a choice on that with the, with the children. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so we're currently teaching one child and they are 10 years old. So you have to wait until you're 10 years old to start learning. Okay, well, we have a fair amount of people who are 10 years old. So why do we only have one student is the question. Well, there we go. Now it's starting to fill up. Okay, you need to continuously just... I'm just going to leave you on there because we need massive amounts of wood. Uh, you don't have any charcoal. Okay. Well, there's no point you working until we've made all the charcoal, is there? And you can't find firewood, because that's why you're making... Ugh. Oh my god, we're going to have to spam the forestry again. I had to do this in this last video. Pain in the ass. We literally have to spam the forestry until we can have enough to fill it up. Do you know what? We might make... No, because that carries wood and firewood. So why are we not... I guess because we're selling firewood so quickly and using firewood so quickly that we literally can't store any. I might just go until we can get to the point where we can actually store some to create like a bit of a buffer. Because at the moment we are struggling. Do you want to build that? Just get it done quickly. Um, we can't because we're out of nails. Crap. Go out and build the nails, please. We have the nails and we can't. Oh God, we're running out of water. No. <gasps> Bloody hell, that's a big family. <laughs> That's a huge ass family and they're all living under one house. Wowza. Oh, we do actually have a house free. Huh. Yeah, they're all li they're literally all living in one house. Wow. That must be awkward. 
Uh, we can't make nails. Oh, no, there we go. Now we're making nails. And that's going to be, yep, that's out of water, that's why. Okay, we do need uh, another one. We do need another one. I'm also going to put the platform down there for you chappies so that you can grab water yourself without having to go up the hill. Build the nails because they're going to be used as fast as you can do them. And we've got to actually wait for it to fill up. <laughs> That's not too much work, is it? Surely not. Damn, son. Those are good as hell. Right, so we need to... How many... Yeah, we need to basically remove all of these. Because I want to start putting places for animals down. And I can't do that while we still have trees around here. So remove all of them. And then hopefully this year we will build everything up and build our trading station. So that we can actually start getting animals in. Which will be really awesome. Right, that's functioning. They're all... Oh, you did have someone moving there. Perfect. You're just not planting for some reason. Not entirely sure why. But you're not planting. Hmm. That is odd. <laughs> I genuinely feel bad about doing that. I've put them... I've Especially this end house. I've put it on such a slope. I mean, look at that. I... <laughs> I genuinely feel bad about that. I'm gonna. I might actually use that as a thumbnail. I genuinely feel bad about doing that. <laughs> I've created such an atrocious house there. It's awful. Right. I'm going to leave all five of them on forestry just because we can fill up the storage. So that's not a problem. We have filled up the storage. God damn. Um, and we're actually using the wood. Um, or I would have said we were using the wood but we're not actually using the wood because <sighs> we've resort we've collected all the resources for it on the plus side i don't have to worry about that because we are building a trading post um having said that though voila we have an iron mine or we will have an iron mine i should say oh damn they built scaffolding and everything <gasps> Oh. My. God. They actually build scaffolding. I don't think that's part of the building, is it? Oh, it might be part of the building. <gasps> no, they're building scaffolding so they can go up a level. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I'm, I'm nerding out. I am massively, massively nerding out here. I love every single part of this. Are they going to go up another level of scaffolding to finish it off? Or have they finished it? And that's going to come down as well when they finish it, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Just, oh, every single part of that is amazing. And that is now exhausted as well. God damn. Right. So when we get to December, we're going to have to work out what we need to plant for next year's crop. Because we've almost... Have we actually lost all of our... It's gone. Oh, jeez, it's gone. All of the flour is gone. Wow, I mean, I know it was expiring fast. Yep, it is gone. God damn. Right, let's have a thousand in that so that we know it's where we need it to be when we actually need it. How are we doing on market sales? We've still got, we've still got enough to keep going. Uh, that is going to be destroyed before it even has enough to sell. So we don't have an issue there. And our iron mine is functioning now we have to obviously get some other buildings to actually get it to produce anything however what matters is that we have it and we can start stockpiling that's what matters so with these trees slowly going we are going to begin getting some animals going 
Now I think to start off with, we're going to keep things simple and just go for chickens and probably cows. So I feel like they're the most simple ones to have. Plus we can use the cows for the, uh, for the fields. So, we have chickens and we are going to have a cow shed. Oh yes, of course. The need to have hay dryers. I completely forgot about that. Thank you very much for reminding me, game. Uh, they are going to be a pain in the ass to set up. Actually, I suppose I can set them all on the um, hills where I can't build. That would be perfect. And then I can make a big hay barrack. Not there because it's miles away from where it's actually going to be used. So let's not do that. Uh, let's set it right next to the farm. That makes more sense. No, oh, let me do slow rotation to slow it in right next to the farm. That's exactly what we want. Perfect. Right. Let's get someone working on that. And we need more thatch, please. Go and refill our thatch supplies, please. Thank you. Not enough iron. Right, oh. Uh, let's send a messenger over to see if they have any iron. You can come down to just two workers because we've refilled our supplies. And put a worker back in you because we have enough stuff. Get out from there because we don't need you until we have enough supplies to actually start building stuff. Hey oh, oh we can buy chickens. Right, I'm gonna buy five. Is there anything else that we want? I don't think so. Shame we can't buy an iron from them. That sucks. But we have chickens inbound, and we are making supplies for chickens inbound. Uh, I suppose we can actually really use the wheat, can't we? Because we're not going to be able to use it on anything else. Yeah, let's do that. And you... That's perfect. Iron, yes, buy. That's hella cheap. And stone we are going to buy because we will be able to use that late game. That would just about do it, I think. Uh, we do 110% need a worker on there, however. And we don't have a worker currently on there. Uh, that is a problem because we have nothing to... We have no one to unload our stuff. Oh no, we do now. Perfect. Right. How far away are they? They are inbound. So, we're getting iron, nails, stone, and five chickens. Perfect. That's all drying out. That has been built. Damn. We are doing... A okay. Now we still need to build the rest of these carts, but that's fine. We can do that when we get enough metal parts. Uh, there's no point you being on there because we don't have enough iron. We don't have enough metal parts to make a cart, and we can't make any more metal parts because we don't have any iron. Oh, we do now. What are you coming in? You're coming in with my chickens, aren't you? Is that a worker or the manager? Please. No, 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 no. Don't miss the chickens. Oh, thank God. <laughs> or is that... A st oh, no, yeah, he's got iron. Oh, damn. Okay. I thought that was my chickens. I thought I was going to lose my chickens. Yes. Give me more. I will take all of the stone and iron and everything that you can sell me. I will have all of it. <laughs> Every single bloody piece. Oh, my chickens are in. And we have five. Look. Our chickens exist. Even if they're... That is a... You know, from someone who has chickens, that is a pathetic fence. They would get over that so easily. I, I've seen chickens go from, like, the floor up to the top of a hut, hat or hutch, which is, like, five, six foot tall. Like, they can go high. It's it, They do not find it an issue at all. <laughs> Iron, hell yes. Oh, hello. Okay. So, now, this is important. So, let's get... Two, one. Okay, we can afford that. We can afford that. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need. Actually, that'd be really helpful. That would be really, really helpful because then we can concentrate just on making. We don't actually need to make either. Awesome. Right, put someone back in there. How's this going? You've got 766 already. Damn, son, you've been working hard. Holy crap. 
You have been working bloody hard. How's the... is the wheat? The flour is nearly gone. Flour is nearly gone. But it's fine because it still exists. So, and here comes winter. Right, and what we want to do is... Oh, we're already selling it. Damn, okay. So in that case, we need another market stall. And I'm going to have to get rid of that. Sorry. We need another market stall. Because we need to sell other things. Right, so we need to sell. We need to sell. We need to sell. Sunflower oil. Chicken eggs. We will be selling milk, but not yet because we don't have enough of it. Uh, what else on that list do we need to sell that we can't, that we're not selling already? I don't think there's anything. We've got potatoes in the other one. We've got flour in the other one. We've got firewood in the other one. We have buckwheat in the other one. I don't think there's anything else we really need to sell. I think that's all we need. Righto. Let's leave it at that. Where's the wagon coming from? Ah. <laughs> it's my cows. Have you really walked all that way? God damn, son. And that's got my eye on it. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. Right, that is full up, so you can go and become laborers. You can come and unload everything you've got into there. And our cows and chickens will exist. And we have livestock. And we have cows. Awesome. We have cows, we have chicken, we have livestock, and now we just need to we have nails which we're not using and we just need to have someone build more carts well, honestly i think we can just start building more houses now i want to build a double row of houses here so i'm going to pause the game and oh that's janky that's janky <laughs> no god damn it i keep on doing that <laughs> bingo and then we need to make a gap so that people can still go down to the shoreline and make that the right size build that and then we will start off with eight houses that looks good right um bum 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 bingo and we will build as much as we can this year and then we will go into next year with a lot more workers with livestock and i also have to work out i need to work out what crop i need to plant because that can stay on fallow that's fine but these three i need to plant crops don't really need wheat our potato jeez our potatoes are nearly dead right let's do that as potatoes because that's the smallest field let's do that as hemp because we will end up using it and i don't know what flax does oh no actually let's do sunflowers because we know we're gonna we know we're gonna use sunflowers even though we have a crap ton of them already um <laughs> we know we're gonna use sunflowers so we'll do another season of sunflowers we have hemp for clothes potatoes because they're about to get annihilated by the uh deterioration aspect of the game which is actually <laughs> it's both annoying and really cool um, and you can disappear off because there is nothing that I need from you. I suppose we could, can we build, can we make a pig, pigsty? Why did I, in my head, I was like, that's what I want to say, but it also sounds so wrong and I don't know why. We can't, can't put it anywhere. <laughs> we can't put it anywhere. Uh, let's just get rid of that and we'll put it here and then we can put that back somewhere else so build that and then we will actually to ask you oh i might have just i want to test something here because i think i might have just discovered a way to cheat the game i haven't oh it's not a thing oh i'm so i've never been so happy about being wrong about a a cheat or a bug in a game in my entire life i thought that if i destroyed the fill and put it back it would be maxed out on nutrients but it's not because it's on the same area which means it's done on the ground and not on where the actual fields are done 
I love that. Props to the dev. Massive, massive props to the dev on that one. Good bloody job. I am so happy that I was wrong. So, so happy. Well, ladies and gents, that is the end of year number three. And you will have had two years in one video because year number two was so boring to edit that I got next to no footage out of it. So I thought you deserved more than that in one video. And tomorrow you will have year number three of the No Outsiders Challenge. As always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. And I'll see you in year number four. Damn, we're looking good.